Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And today we're going to be unboxing the brand new iPhone 8 Plus, but not just in one color. Today we have two colors for you, including the new gold one. So we have the black space gray one and the all new gold color. And before we get into today's video, I'm thinking about doing an iPhone 10 giveaway. To ensure that happens, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and down below in the description, there are a couple of links. If you guys could share out this video, that will definitely ensure that we do an iPhone 10 giveaway. All right, now let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. On the front, we just have the back of the iPhone 8 Plus depicted. Of course, it has a very similar design to the iPhone 7 Plus. Really, the only thing that's changed design-wise is the back of it now is glass, just like the front. So yes, we're going back to the iPhone 4 and 4S days. I think it'll look absolutely stunning. We'll see in just a little bit. But as you can see here, we do have the two different iPhones in two different colors and of course the black one does have a black box instead of a white box which previously was reserved last year for just the jet black iPhone models so it'll be interesting to take a look at these and see how they stack up against one another all right also on the box on either side it simply says iPhone and the top and bottom have Apple logos all right, and then taking a look at the back, it just confirms that both of these are the 64 gigabyte models. That is now the new base with the iPhone 8 as well as with the iPhone 10. So that's some great news that we actually have a higher storage capacity now. And it also states that it includes the iPhone 8 Plus, obviously, the EarPods with Lightning Connector. If you want Apple's wireless AirPods, those will of course be sold separately just like with last year's model. I don't know why, but some people were confused thinking that because Apple would ditch the headphone jack with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, that they'd automatically include the wireless AirPods. That definitely is not the case. And then it comes with the lightning to headphone jack adapter, just like with last year's 7 and 7 Plus. So if you do have the old school headphone jack style headphones, you can still use those. And then we have the lightning to USB cable and USB to power adapter. And now lifting the lid simultaneously will reveal these two little sheets here that simply say designed by Apple in California and the iPhones are underneath. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we actually get inside of this little packet here. So on the top, we have a welcome to iPhone sheet that just essentially walks you through the basics of the device, including the side button, which has now been rebranded from the power of the sleep slash wake button, of course, with the iPhone 10, because that button is going to be used for more things. It seems like Apple's already starting to try to get customers used to it with this iPhone 8 Plus even, probably presumably when they actually drop this design, which has persisted for the last four years. But anyway, getting off topic here, we also have this SIM ejector tool because this is the fully unlocked version of the iPhone 8 Plus. And then we have the iPhone user guide sheet and two Apple logo stickers. And we also have the exact same thing in the other box, so we're not even going to bother with that. We're just going to get straight into the iPhones. There are these two little tabs here that we can just use to pick these guys up. We're going to power them up and we're going to set them off camera for just a second. We'll come back to them, but really quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the back. That looks absolutely beautiful. The new glass backing looks great. It is a real throwback to the iPhone 4 and 4S days. Let's go ahead and set these off camera now. And also included inside of the box, we have Apple's regular EarPod headphones. On the back of this, we have the lightning to headphone jack adapter. Below that, we have Apple's lightning cable, so lightning to USB, and then the charging brick below all of that. So just the basics that we've come to expect with new iPhones. It is still great that Apple does include this adapter because of course we don't have a headphone jack on this iPhone just like with last year's models. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhones now. All right, so starting with the gold, we're just going to take the plastic wrap protecting it off. And you can see that on the back, it merely says iPhone. It doesn't have any initial information on the device. All of that is done inside of the software now. So it looks really clean and it's just an all glass back. It looks actually really nice, better than I thought it would. And this gold color is more of a beige glass with kind of a combination of gold and rose gold aluminum band around it. Again, this is basically the same design as last year's models. The only difference is just that glass back, which 
which Apple did introduce for the wireless charging capabilities of the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Let's go ahead and set both of these up. I'm going to get started here. Put this one off to the side and also let's just take the plastic off of the black one so you guys can get a nice look at that as well. So I really like the black. It's hard to tell on camera here, but it looks absolutely stunning in person. And around the sides we have kind of just a matte black aluminum. It looks really good. So we're going to run through the setup process and I'll be right back when it's done on both of these guys. All right, and I wanted to show you guys this new option. It is Quick Start inside of iOS 11. I totally forgot about it. It's a brand new way to set up your new device using your old device. So long as said old device is running iOS 11, essentially you get the ability to quickly set it up. We have this little cloud here, and all we have to do is just hold the iPhone in frame, and it should immediately transfer data from my old device to my new device. So things like iCloud logins and Wi-Fi passwords will immediately be transferred. It's asking me to input my old passcode of my iPhone 7 Plus to finish setting it up. I'm just going to do that here really quick. And now it's saying that it should just take a few minutes to activate the iPhone. So how cool is that, guys? And the old iPhone says to just finish on new iPhone. So this process should complete relatively soon. And once it does, I will be right back. All right, and I'm right here at the end of the setup, and you'll notice that we have the ability to turn on True Tone Display. This is one of the new features on the iPhone 8. Plus, essentially it states iPhone automatically adapts to ambient light conditions to make colors appear more consistent in different environments. You can change this later in display and brightness settings. So this is a really awesome feature that was first introduced in the smaller iPad Pro. As you can see, here's what it looks like when it's off and here's what it looks like when it's on. Basically, it tries to mimic the look of a sheet of paper in your current lighting conditions. So let's go ahead and leave it on and we're going to get started here setting it at a two for the home button, which of course now just uses Apple's Taptic Engine to emulate a click ever since last year's iPhone. So here we go, we are inside of iOS 11 now on the iPhone 8 Plus. Now I'm just going to quickly download Geekbench and I wanted to do a comparison between the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 7 Plus for you guys. So let me launch up the App Store and download it and I'll be right back. All right, and before we get into running Geekbench, I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the iPhone 8 Plus. Like I said, it's very similar to last year's model, but let's take a look at what's changed. So actually the audio has changed on this guy. So the stereo speakers should be improved over last year's model. It uses the same trick though. So it uses the top earpiece to emit sound and it also uses the bottom one. So it has two grills here. One is actually just for the microphone for you string phone calls and audio recording and such. And the other is a speaker that of course pairs with this top one right here. We have the typical FaceTime camera, the ambient light sensors up at the top. It also looks like there is a new true tone sensor for that true tone display and then flipping it over on the back we do have that glass back which looks to be an absolute fingerprint magnet here and we have the dual camera assembly up at the top right there so we do have the regular lens and then the telephoto lens for up close images and we have the quad true tone led flash right there and as I mentioned previously, it just looks very simple. It has an Apple logo and it says iPhone. This is a really great color. And let's go ahead and compare it against the other one. So the gold one, which I'm bringing over off camera right here. So a really awesome color difference there. Let's go ahead and get a nice shot of this focusing here. So there's the color difference between the gold one. Like I said, the glass is more of a beige, whereas the gold really comes in on the side band. So you probably wanna see this in person before you decide if you wanna get this or if you just wanna get the silver one if you really are in fact set on the white face here because of course the black one simply has a black bezel. All right, and then just looking at the side of the device, at the top we have the new side button which is really just the exact same as the power and lock button on previous iPhone models. And then we have the cutout for the antenna at the top and the bottom on both sides and on the other side 
we have the mute toggle and then the volume rocker. And that wraps up everything for the iPhone 8 Plus. Again, very similar design. And like I mentioned previously, this glass back does enable for wireless charging. Be sure to stick around for an upcoming video on that. All right, so here we go. I have Geekbench downloaded and open on both of these phones. The iPhone 8 Plus comes up as iPhone 10 comma two because that's the identifier. They're both running iOS 11 and it's identified the iPhone 7 Plus as having Apple's A10 Fusion chip, obviously, whereas the iPhone 8 Plus has Apple's A11 Bionic chip, which is actually a six core CPU. It has four efficiency cores and two high performance cores. It's supposed to be 25% faster in the CPU department and 30% faster in the GPU department over its predecessor, the iPhone 7 Plus. So let's go ahead and actually run the CPU benchmarks on both of these guys. We're starting them. We actually didn't get it at the exact same time, but that shouldn't matter. We're really just concerned about the score. And I do have a feeling that the iPhone 8 Plus will finish up ahead of the iPhone 7 Plus at any rate. So let's go ahead and just wait for this. I'm going to speed this part up and I'll be back when it finishes. All right, and the iPhone 7 Plus actually finished first. We have a single core score of 3507 and a multi-core score of 5913. And the iPhone 8 Plus is still finishing here. It looks like it should be done any second. And there we go. We have a single core score of 4188 and a multi-core score of 8793. That's absolutely insane. This is definitely the best single and multi-core Geekbench scores out of any smartphone on the market right now. This will blow anything out of the water thanks to Apple's brand new A11 bionic chip. So some really great Geekbench results here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to rate it up and use the links down below in the description if you want an iPhone 10 giveaway. Of course, also subscribe to be notified anytime I release new videos, whether they're iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or iPhone 10 related. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.